Tom Shook had started a product. Um, when Chapin first opened up, it was a school of champions. Um, Dr. Um, Carla Gonzalez, Dr. G was the principal, and, and they had a great um, pride, and, and um, they represented the Northeast well. There was a bunch of champions here, so I wanted to be a part of it. I feel like it's a, um, it's a privilege and it's an honor, you know, to be on such a great team that has a lot of great history. And, you know, it's definitely a, a pride team. It's an amazing program. I mean, we have an amazing coach that pushes us every day to be our best. And, I mean, I just love being on this team. We work hard every day and we prove on the court. I mean, we don't let anything stop us from making our goal every year. I've been here, we've gotten higher and higher into the playoffs, and I'm really proud of that. I've been around some amazing guys, and I'm just so grateful for that. For the past three years, Chapin Boys Basketball has made it to the Sweet 16. Out of the hardwood where the Chapin Boys Basketball team has done something no El Paso team has done in five seasons, the Huskies have risen to number four in the Texas Association of Basketball Coaches Top 25 poll for Class 5A. Well, the Chapin Huskies, one of the best teams in the state, currently ranked fourth in class Chapin five. Boys basketball was welcomed back to the Sun City earlier today after spending the last few days in Wichita Falls. The Huskies made it all the way to the Elite Eight for the first time in program history. Chapin basketball is about winning off the court first. Um, real life is a lot harder than basketball, so you need to learn how to win those battles off the court and then the battles on the court become a little easier. So it's all about accountability off the court before. I just seen the culture. Like my eighth grade year, I came to watch a game. They was playing our rival Andrews, so you know it was like everybody was in the gym. It was packed out, and then the intensity was so high. I just wanted to, you know, play in that type of uh, area one day. First, about like you know the team, how they've been successful, and they have an amazing coach, and then they had like good players, and I wanted to be a part of that team. Kind of thought that like, I could contribute to the team and be something. It's funny, man. I ran into Coach Lewis. Um, I told him my plans. I was trying to get a coaching job elsewhere. He was like, come coach with me. Uh, we go way back. I've known him since I was 14 years old. And he said, let's do it. And I was like, let's go. I just like to see my kids excel. I like to see them just work hard. Um, it's not about wins or losses. I just tell them if they put in the effort and, and put in the time and, and give their best every single day, the, the, the success will come. And so it's because uh, I'm not the easiest coach to play for. Um, we use um, three words, um, three letters, ACC, and, and it means accountability, character, and commitment. And I expect that from my guys every single day on and off the court, all day long. And so for a teenager to have to go through that during these times, to know that the standard is going to always be ACC, um, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. Playing for Coach Lewis, it's, um, it's fun, you know, because he always comes in with high intensity every day, man. You never know, like, you never know what you're going to get out of Coach Lewis. So it's like, it's fun. I really enjoy playing for Coach Lewis. Playing for Coach? Oh, fun, man. You, you want a coach that cares. You want a coach that brings passion, and you want a coach that, that puts the kids first, for sure. Um, yeah, you, I wouldn't want it any other way. Yeah, we have a target on our back, for sure, but we've prepared the same way. We prepare like we're the underdog. Uh, yeah, man, we don't, we don't, we don't shy away from, from a challenge. We want to go play the best and we want everybody's best shot, and that's how we prepare every day. So when it comes to teams coming up against us, we already know we're at our best, so we just want them to be at our best, I mean, at their best, so we can have good games. I think we earned it. I think people thought that since, like, for my freshman year when KG left, and then the next year when we made Final 8, that that's going to be it. But we proved everyone wrong. I mean, we pushed ourselves in off-season, in practice, and in these tournaments, we've showed out, and we've just like show these people who didn't know about us. We showed them who we were and we've earned it. I just think that, you know, we have a really great chance to make it really, really far and maybe potentially a state. Uh, a state championship, for sure, That's our main goal. We, have, we're, we still got work to do. Like, um, I don't coach for Sweet 16s. We want to bring a state championship. Um, it'll be the first time since 1976, Eastwood High School. Um, and we want to see how that feels for El Paso. We want to see how it feels to, to hold that Wood Trophy up in San Antonio. And we want to make El Paso proud, um, especially the Northeast. Um, so um, we still got work to do. So my, my thing since I got here was every year we want to be better than the year before. Um, we felt like we left one out there last year. 
Um, and we wanted to try to go back there and, and see if we can um, right, the, right the wrong.